Hi, welcome to Shingy Academy. I'm Paul and today I'm going to show you a little bit of a spear technique. So Shingy is developed from spear fighting or so they say. Um, so today I have got just a basic lightweight pine pole. Um, we've painted the end so we know which end is the pointy bit, the bit that goes into the bad guys and it just lets us know which way the blade is orientated because some of our techniques are reliant upon cuts so we need to know which side is the flat of the blade and which side is a point and which side is the sharp edge. I'm going to show you a little variation of Petran using the spear. So Petran with a spear, Chiang. So we start off from our Santi shear position and what we're going to do here is that I'm going to let myself chop downwards here. So I'm just going to let the hand run down the spear so the hand gets closer okay and then I'm going to do a deflecting movement so as I deflect I'm going to let the rear hand rise as I extend with the front hand and step forwards so you see now the spear is about to slide down my left hand side so from the start I chop down <coughs> then I overturn extend I'm going to step past here I'm bringing the rear hand into the center of the spear, overturn, and then as I step forwards, I reach for the bottom of the spear, and then I come down and chop. So that's one movement, <coughs> okay? So I'm gonna get Andrew to go in front of me so you can see it from the front. Spear's a little bit bent, but it should be okay. Um, it's just a training spear. I've got a larger one with an antique spearhead that I usually use for training, but um, this is just for lightweight training, learning movements and so on. So from a Santi shirt position, I chop down, I extend and rise, bring the hands together, overturn the spear, reach and then chop. So I'm going to re do that again from a guard position again, chop, extend, overturn, chop. So I can just carry on this, overturn and chop, overturn and chop, overturn and chop. Then when I want to turn, I'm going to use the butt to protect myself. See, I can extend that and then I step through, chop. So then I'm going to carry on, overturn, chop, overturn, chop. You could do this with a staff, usually maybe a little bit smaller than this. With a staff, you might not be so close to the bottom with the hand, you'll be a little bit further up. So you can use both ends, ends to strike. And with this, it's the same kind of movement. It, you might use the front end to scoop something out of the way. As the hand comes in from down here into the middle, you could be using that to strike with the butt. Maybe then scoop something else away and then come over and hit with the other end. So you get this kind of almost like a paddling movement. You could thrust at the end if needed. So there you go, very quick, very basic variation on P, P Jing, P Chiang, the spear. Um, have a go at it. Get yourself a big stick, start chopping stuff. Okay, so 
hope you learned something a little bit you enjoyed that um, you know what to do hit subscribe below get on our mailing list over at shingyacademy.com you get some free stuff um, learn a bit more about Shingy, get started on your Shingy journey. Uh, we have all the other social media stuff, so get over to Facebook and Patreon as well if you want to help us out. Patreon.com slash Shingy Academy. Alright, see you next time guys.